<clears throat> Here is a story. Let's see. Um, all right, I don't remember if I told you the story, but I'll tell you the story again. If I did, if I did tell it before. <clears throat> there was a rabbi in, in, he used to work in, in Or Yehuda where I had the Chabad house. And um, oh, here I, I have a, a different story for you. Okay, I think I didn't tell you the story. One, there was a great rabbi, and his name was Rabbi Yisrael Salant. Rabbi Yisrael Salant, he was like the father of the Musar movement, and he was a great rabbi, a, 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 a strong, a strong person, and a positive person, a big fighter. Anyway, in his time. <clears throat> You know, the, the, a lot of Jews left Judaism, a lot of Jews. And it pained him very greatly. And so he would, as much as he could, he would keep up with his past pupils to strengthen them and encourage them. One day he went to one of his pupils' homes. He happened to be in the, this town where he was on Shabbat. And he comes in and he, uh, the, the man takes him aside and says, Oh, Rabbi, I'm so happy to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. And he says, Listen, Rabbi, I have a big problem. My son, maybe you can talk to him. He said, what's his problem? He says, you'll see. Son comes in. He calls his son, uh, you know, Stanley, come in. Comes in. He comes in smoking a cigarette on Shabbat. He hasn't got any keep on his head. Of course, no beard, no this. He says, oh, another rabbi. What are you doing, rabbi? I want a cigarette? Ha, ha, ha. And so the rabbi says, um, I mean, you know, God doesn't want us to, to smoke on Shabbat. I think you know that. Eh, God. And God doesn't want you. I want you to prove me. Prove to me that God exists. Here, I'm proving to you that God does not exist. I'm proving to you. It says in the Torah that if a person transgresses the Shabbat, if he lights a fire on Shabbat, then it says that he will die. Here, I'm lighting a cigarette, smoking a cigarette on Shabbat. Here, takes out a match, lights the match. I didn't die. Nothing happened to me. Nothing whatsoever. <clears throat> Isn't that a good enough proof for you, Rabbi? Exactly the opposite. I just proved that God doesn't exist. Now let's you prove that he does exist. And so the Rabbi, Rabbi Salon didn't really know what to say. I mean, it's you know, it a good argument. And so he looks around and he, he, suddenly his eye catches a, a little a certificate that's above the piano. There's a piano in the house, a little certificate. So he immediately understands what the certificate is. And he goes and looks and sure he's right. What is it? It's the, <clears throat> he, the, the a certificate that this he, he placed somewhere, third prize, whatever it is, in the international Chopin uh, piano competition. This was in Poland, I don't know, wherever it was. Anyway, so he said, oh, I see you have this... Uh, the certificate. So that's right. I'm one of the better piano pianists in Russia. And, you know, I practice on Shabbat also. You know, I, that's also forbidden. Huh? I wouldn't have this. So the rabbi said, listen, I don't believe that you're a piano player. I don't think you're a piano player. Let's, let's see. <clears throat> let's see you play something. I'll wait. I'll wait until after Shabbat. I'll come back after Shabbat. It's forbidden on Shabbat. I'll see you play something. He says, listen, rabbi, you can come back wherever you want to. But I'm not going to play for you. I'm making a concert for you. I take good money for my concert. And not only that, what do you understand about music? You understand one piece about another piece. You understand. Oh, I'm music. You're a musician. You're one of those rabbis, backward people. You don't understand. You can't appreciate music. <clears throat> this, I have this certificate. The certificate is signed by the greatest pianists in all of Romania, wherever he was. That's good enough for you. That's good enough. I'm not going to play anything. So I said, oh. So it's the same thing. <coughs> That's my proof. You want me to prove that God exists? I said, here, I have the certificate. I have the Torah. It's a certificate. Right? It's signed and attested to by the greatest rabbis in the world. What do you want? That God should do a miracle for you? Right? The same way you don't want to play the piano for me <clears throat> because you'd think I wouldn't appreciate it. 
If God did a miracle for you, think you would appreciate it. What do you have to, you, have to, you wouldn't appreciate it? And not only that, what do we have to do a miracle for? Here, I have the certificate. Here's the certificate in my hand that God exists. If you don't accept that, so I don't accept your certificate. You think you don't, I don't understand piano? Well, you wouldn't, we won't understand the miracle of God also. The Jews, when they left Egypt, there were all sorts of miracles. Nobody understood. <clears throat> With that, their argument ended. Did the rabbi convince the, the young man? I don't know, but it convinced me. And that is the story of Rabbi Yisrael Solant and the pianist. Have a good day, everyone. Three o'clock. We'll uh, look.